Okay, um, it looks like we're recording here. I wanted to make this uh, because, uh, first of all, I never tried the uh, record webcam feature on YouTube, and I thought we'd see how that worked. Uh, secondly, um, there was a comment uh, on somebody's uh, Facebook page, uh, making it sound as if most people were oblivious that congressmen aren't normal. And I, I kind of get that because I think the, the masses get that. But I commented on some of Mark Twain's um, philosophies and points of view on this. And I just wanted to try and maybe share a story that, um, that uh, if I remember right, uh, I saw Hal Holbrook do Mark Twain um, quite a few years ago. Uh, and he did this story beautifully. And I just, forgive me if I get some of the details wrong, but apparently when Mark Twain was um, younger and he was a newspaper reporter, he uh, was, you know, looking for a story that to uh, basically, uh, you know, make his living with. And uh, a friend of his had approached him and said, you know, I've, I've had enough. I'm just sick of this world. Um, I think um, I'm just going to end it all. And Twain thought, well, that'd be a story. <laughs> so he follows his friend around, and, and they decide, you know, how, well, how are they going to do this? And they decided that what they'd do is the, you know, rope was cheap. They could find some rope, they'd tie it to a big rock, they'd go out to the end of a pier, and tie the rope around his neck and throw it off the pier, and that should, should do the tr trick, right? So he, you know, followed him. They got the rope, had his pen and pad there, ready to take down all the details so that he could report it and have a story. And just as they reached the end of a pier, they saw floating in the water, as if it were a sign from God himself, a life preserver. And they took a deep breath, and at that moment, uh, Mark Twain turned to his friend and said, you know, we could sell that and buy a gun. So they, they fished the preserver out of the water, took it to a shop, and basically traded it in for, for a gun. And so now he sat ready while his friend prepared himself with this gun to end his life. Um, he loaded the weapon. He put it into his mouth and pulled the trigger. And Mark Twain wrote in graphic detail about how the gun fired and the smell of gunpowder in the air and the back of the man's head exploding and his brains just being splattered against the wall. And after that, the man moved to Washington, became a senator, and was never happier. Or maybe it was became a congressman, I don't know which. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I guess it all depends on, on who you are and what your level of awareness is to, to know just how much crap is going on in Washington. And uh, my gut feeling is it's, you know, there's this illusion that back in the day things were better. I don't know anymore. I mean, I think that they might have been somewhat better. I think there were always people seeking power and abusing their power. I don't think it's ever been as bad as it is now. It's not, they don't even care. I mean, don't, it's not, I mean, in the past, I think maybe they never cared. But I think now, it's not only do they not care, they don't care if you know, because they know they're untouchable. It's like they don't, they, you know, they don't care if you know the game, because they know there's nothing you can do about it. Well, anyways, uh, the comment made me think of that story, and I just thought I'd share it and give me an opportunity to try this uh, YouTube feature. So we'll see how it works.